If you guys are wondering where we are today, we've come to the world famous Hot Bay area. And you can see by Hangberg in the background there that this is the entrance to the Hot Bay area. And this is where we're gonna to come to jump onto a ship or a boat that we have down in the harbor there and come out to see if we can get some snook out in the Atlantic Ocean. Hot Bay Harbor, early morning. There are some people that came as far as St. Helena Bay to come here for the snook today. The snook came in yesterday and a couple of boats were out there. I tell you what, the news spread like wildfire. And today there's a hub up here. There's just people everywhere. There's an excitement in the air. The snook is here. Let's go get some. Sean Moore, owner of Hooked on Africa, was our charter operator, with safety, friendliness, professionalism and success high on his agenda. Oh, this is beautiful! This is what it's all about. Coming to get these silver boikies here. Beautiful, let's get some more. Sean, we just had a fantastic morning with you and we had a fantastic time. Like you said, it started a little bit slowly, but then once we got going, man, it was mayhem on that boat. What impact would you say the snook catches have on this area as far as commercial value is concerned? That's no, massive. Right? The snook impact on the, on the community here, the local community is huge. It's not only the local fishers are catching and making some money obviously for the families, their wives are probably cleaning the fish and, they, and then the fish then leaves here and goes into other areas. The kids get involved, it's huge. I mean it's a massive, massive, massive industry that I don't think anybody really realizes the, 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 the sort of financial value to the local area. So the implication is that it really percolates down to grassroots level, yeah? 100%, yeah, 100%. I mean, this fish is, a, you know, it sort of moves down the coast, starts in Namibia and comes all the way down the coast. And effectively, uh, the, you know, when it hits here and like it is here today, the local community get heavily involved, you know, and that, for, for them, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, today I'm sure a lot of them had up to 50 a man, so that, you know, they earn some good money out of it. Fantastic. Charter and recreational fishing also adds a tidy sum to the economic welfare of Hart Bay. Things are heating up. Uh, uh, they're getting us right on the surface. The fish squirts are eating the guys. <laughs> this is typical snook. These long, silver and extremely predatory fish make for a really good fight and not once they're on the bite, even the old hands each to get involved. Ken, who usually mans the cameras, couldn't let a chance like this slip by and caught a good few of these silver missiles. Once the snook fever is caught on, all care for personal hygiene and clean clothes go right overboard. Tourists from as far as Germany come to test themselves against these fast swimmers and on fly. Sean and Stuart Henselwood work like a well-oiled machine to make your fishing expedition one to remember. You have to watch out for those sharp teeth and Sean just let this one get a little too close for comfort. Breaking the neck ensures that the fish bleeds out and it stays fresh for much longer.
comes to that. Okay. You're gonna get a soup in the, in the chop. chop. <laughs> <laughs>